traigo jugo con azúcar? Um, sí, está bien. ¿Le traigo Pero, azúcar? Um, oh, no, sí, está bien como así. Bueno. Sin azúcar, sí, gracias. Bueno. Not bad. By the Cali letters, get a good look at this right here. These are pretty cool. For what I read online, these were donated. Fix that camera. From what I read, they were donated by this construction company called uh, Hernandez. They were donated for the 482nd birthday of Cali, which I think was back in like 2018. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, here we go right here. No, not Hernandez, Melendez. Construction company Melendez. Look at this. I didn't even notice this until now. Wow. So yeah, they was uh, donated by the construction company Melinda. It's a good thing that this was over here. I would have been talking some crap and y'all would have been killing me in the comments. It's like, boy, you need to get your facts straight. But yeah, they were donated by the Melinda's construction company. And uh, it's pretty cool. They were painted over by a local Colombian artist. I don't know who exactly, but it's pretty dope. Um, hot as hell out here, man. Hot as hell. And they call it... Uh, uh, what they refer to Cali as is heaven on earth uh, Sucrosal del Cielo I don't know if I can say that definitively because I've only been out here a few few days but so far so good I can't complain about the experience that I've had thus far my only complaint is I can't find no goddamn guarapo out here which is crazy it's like damn been to plenty of restaurants in Medellin this is actually another landmark right here I don't know its historical significance but uh, you can look it up online and figure it out for yourself. Casa Obeso Mejia. But, uh, yeah, man, I can't f seem to find any restaurant that has guarapo. Now, I have been able to try two new drinks that are pretty bomb. I won't say that they're giving guarapo. I won't say that they're better than guarapo, but they're giving guarapo competition. And, um, what else? What's up? Um, the drinks are guanabana, which is a, I don't know exactly what it's, it's texture, it's like a, it's a white drink that's typically mixed with either water or milk, and guayaba, guayaba is a pink rosada, or rosado, I can't, I don't know, I forgot how you say pink in Spanish, one of those two goddamn colors, one of those two names, and that one is bomb as hell, I will say that unequivocally, expeditiously. That drink is bomb as hell. I will say that without question. It's definitely given, definitely given what I will competition. And where we are right now, this is another historical landmark. This is the Sara El Gato del Rio. Nah, Las Novias del Gato del Rio. This is, uh, I don't know how that translates into Spanish. It's uh, what the, the girlfriends of the river cat and this is this was designed i forgot what year this was designed but these sculptures right here were made of the image of the original sculpture which is the two-ton big cat further up here that was designed by a colombian artist from bogota who passed away two years after he donated the sculpture that he uh you know, donated to, donated to Cali back in, I forgot what year, well, I think it was like 96. Uh, the sculpture is about like two tons. It's like a real big one. Pause. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. But yeah, it's, um, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool area. You can come over here, hang out, take some photos. Now these, these particular smaller cats, they wasn't designed by him. They were designed by the image that he created. Look at the likeness of the image that he created. That's Top Cat right there. You know top cat top cat pretty cool pretty cool area pretty cool area this is my first time over here i've walked over from the apartment that i'm staying at which is about like a 20 15 minute walk which is wild wow especially with the heat out here if you are to walk over here comfortable shoes water maybe a sweat rag something like that because it is a different animal but they do have 
pharmacies and drugstores across the street if you want to get you something to drink, something to snack on. They also have a nice little gift shop over here. You purchase you something, a little keychain, something like that. Take with your fancy. Of course, we got the ladies over here taking photos, doing their thing. This is the uh, the cat design by my man Fernando Tejada. That's the artist that designed this this big ass cat right here. Pretty pretty huge. I don't know, man. That's uh, two tons. Let's just say it is. No, okay, here it is. Yeah. Oh, I got my facts straight. I got my facts straight, people. Your boy got his facts straight. It was designed in um, July of 96. And apparently he passed away two years after he donated this uh, sculpture. Interesting. Pretty cool. Okay, landmark number two. This is the Cali, uh, what's that, Boulevard del Rio. As you can see, today is just a touristy type day, man. I ain't doing nothing. I've been walking around for the past few days and I've been tired as hell. I ain't gonna lie to you. Cali uh, Boulevard del Rio and basically from what I read this was designed to create a, a land a land space for you know, locals and tourists alike for recreation like you'll come over here you'll see a lot of people jogging you'll see some people riding their bikes like a ton of restaurants and this is in a historical center so they have a lot of museums over here and all that good stuff a lot of restaurants a lot of gift shops and a couple of days ago, actually, I was walking through here. I didn't realize what it was until I, you know, later, until I came back to the apartment and read up on it. But they had a they had a marathon over here. It was a New Balance marathon, I believe it was. They had a 10K and a 21K. I got footage of that if you um, saw the first video of this uh, Cali experience that I've been having out here so far. That was the uh, video I did a couple of days ago put that link in the straight in the description if you happen to give a you know what i think they have a lot of, they have a lot of cool stuff over here i think they have the church over here it's like uh la ermita i think that church is over here we'll walk over there check that out um probably get some to, uh, something to sip on because i'm thirsty as hell man i need some i need some carbs and i need some fluids pause i've been dying over here man it's so hot out here it's not even funny but yeah this is a pretty cool spot it's basically like a boardwalk Similar to um, what's our Muscle Beach, California, little boardwalk over there. Same thing with uh, Jersey. They got a, a boardwalk over there as well. I don't know if they have Juices Naturales over there. I don't know what they got over here. Hola. ¿Qué es este? Jugo. ¿Es jugo? ¿Cómo? Es buena. ¿Cuánto cuesta? ¿Cuánto mil? ¿Puedo tener uno, por favor? Sí, sí, gracias. Give me a little something, something to sip on. Support local businesses out here, man. 4,000 pesos. I don't know how big it is. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've been saying some crazy stuff as of late, man. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está? Tranquilita. Sí, solo quiero jugo. Mira, la fruta también está bien. Sí, ah, sí, la fruta está bien. Es la buena. Es la buena, sí. Entonces quiero. Sí, entonces quiero mucho. ¿Dónde eres tú? Yo? Ah, Estados Unidos. Estados Unidos. Boston. ¿Tú sabes? No. Es um. ¿Sabes Boston Rex o Red Sox? El equipo de béisbol. El, el equipo de béisbol. No, no, no sabes ninguna deportes en Estados Unidos. No. No. Ah. Está bien. Solo lo veo y lo veo. ¿Cómo? Las ciudades y cosas así solo lo veo. Ah. ¿El hecho lechera? Ah, no, estoy bien, gracias, corazón. Solo como así, sí, gracias. Bueno, muchas gracias. Gracias, gracias. Oh my god. This shit tastes good. Four thousand pesos, that's not bad. 
not bad at all. I think it has pineapple, pineapple, mango, and como? It's a jugo con fruta, it's cuatro mil. Sí, muchas gracias, corazón. Right, pasa bueno. Chao. Right. It is pretty good. It is pretty good. Banana. It has banana in it. Mango. And um, cantaloupe. That's what I saw in it. Cantaloupe. Pretty good. This is the boardwalk. As you can see, plenty of restaurants over here. If you want to get to East on out of Muesos. Um, I don't know burger joints that's one thing I notice a lot out here in Cali they have a lot of cool artwork for example for example right over here to your to my right mira que bonita va Michele en Paz I've been seeing a lot of cool artwork just randomly scattered across various parts of the of San Antonio in particular because that's the only place I've been able to pretty much put my feet down on and stomp down on it to uh, get a good idea of what it is over here what it is like over here burger joint ah god damn oh my god let me tell you about what the hell happened to me yesterday yo I am over by I went to a Actually, okay, let me start from the beginning. I'm at the airport, and I meet this girl from Cali who was actually taking, who actually had the same flight itinerary as myself. So I was talking to her for a little bit. We chopped it up. We exchanged information, and we made plans to meet. Um, what, like my second or third day that I was out here? So we made plans to meet. We had a plan to go to the uh, Butterfly Garden. I forgot what it's called. It's Mariposario. I believe that's what it's called. The Butterfly Garden is Mariposario. It's near... It's near, um, what's the name of that goddamn place? Cristo del Rey. It's near that, it's near the Cristo del Rey, it's near the statue. So, you know what I'm saying, I ordered the Uber, we're on our way over there, and we get down there, and the Uber driver loses, <laughs> first of all, he didn't have any gas, so my man had to stop at the gas station prior to dropping us off. But we reached the top of the hill, and his signal went off on his phone, and he wasn't able to find where he was at. So we lost on a goddamn hill somewhere, I didn't have any signal, he didn't have any signal, so we were pretty much screwed. Paid for Uber to go all the way down there and ended up not being able to go to the actual goddamn guard, butterfly garden because we couldn't find it. <laughs> we couldn't find the motherfucker. It was crazy. <laughs> so I had my man take us back to the apartment. I'm like, damn, what is a waste of time, man? I had a whole schedule of a plan of being able to, you know what I'm saying, record a little bit of the butterfly garden and show you, um, show you a little honey dip I met because she was a nice, nice little eye candy but you know that just ruined my inspiration to even go back down there man because I didn't even have a signal I couldn't figure out where the hell we was and neither could the driver so I just had him I just had us had him drive us back and it was a crazy ass experience man because you reached that top of that hill I was actually uh, I actually was thinking about you know hopping out of the goddamn car and walking the rest of the way but that would have been a bad idea because you know you have a cell phone you don't have a signal you won't be able to call an uber to get out of there you'll pretty much be at the mercy of that area there's nothing over there there's literally a couple of restaurants outside of that nothing nothing you would uh you would basically have to walk down that long ass hill and it would take you at least at least 40 minutes to an hour easy easy that was crazy crazy that was a waste of damn time i paid like I want to say like 20,000 pesos for that, for that Uber ride. But the Uber driver was cool though. He was cool. My man, my man Julio. Julio was cool. Who the hell remembers that cartoon Gargoyles from back in like the 90s? <laughs> if you look at this goddamn church, you can't tell me that at nightfall a big ass Gargoyle won't come flying off this mother Ready to eat some shit up. Pause. <laughs> but yeah, this is um... Uh, Iglesia de la Ermita. Nice looking church. Has like a real gothic like vibe to it. 
you get a good close up of it. I don't think I'm gonna go inside. I don't even know if they will allow anyone to go inside. But I walk up on it. You guys get a good look at it. Nice look of church. Built back in 1930, and I think it was uh, remodeled back in like 1960 or something like that. 30 years later. Like, this is actually a pretty cool church. Man. Real gothic-like vibe to it. Impressive. Impressive. There's a mall across the street over here. I don't know where this mall is. I don't. I don't know. I ain't never been there before, and I don't know if I plan on going there. But yeah, this looks pretty cool. Get a full, full angle of this bad boy. It's not too bad. We got a directory, like Galicia, like Ermita. Yeah, here we go. We got a directory over here. We got, okay, oh, look at this. We got El Gato del Rio, which we checked out earlier. Iglesia San Antonio. I didn't, I actually went over to Iglesia San Antonio, but I never. I never actually showed the church, so that's what it looks like if you're, if you're curious. And here we go. This Gothic temple dates from the year 1602. Damn, I guess my. Yeah, but a new earthquake occurred in 1925, which again destroyed the chapel in its entirety, leaving only a fresco for. Okay. Oh, yeah, so my, my math was off. It was, uh, it was built around 25 or something like that. Ah, whatever. I don't know everything, goddammit. I just know what I read. But I think I'm gonna stop the video right there. I'm actually gonna just walk around a little bit more, chill, maybe get something to eat, and I'll holler at y'all later. I already know. Deuces.